All right, guys, this is the chest press. So you may have one like this. This is called selectorized, where you have the pin and the cables in your machine. You have a, may have a plate-loaded one, or you may have both. So if you have both, that's great, and it's great to alternate between the two of them because it will work you a little bit differently. Um, but if you just have one, you just work your one. What you want to try and do is adjust your seat. You want to try and adjust your seat to where your feet are flat on the floor. You don't want to be your toes because you want to be able to use the force of driving your feet into the ground to help you push the leg, okay? So this one's got two handles. You can work it again. Just changing the grip position will change the way that the muscle extends and contracts. You can alternate between both, like one week do up here, one week down here. That's perfectly fine. Just roll your shoulder blades back and down. Drive your back, which is the way I can push. <laughs> Drive your back into here, okay? Grab it, keep those shoulder blades back and down. Drive it out, big squeeze, nice control release coming back in, okay? I see a lot of people doing some stuff like this, all right? That's incorrect. Shoulders back and down. Don't let them roll forward. Push out, pushing down into the floor, driving my back back into the machine, and release. Keep those elbows tucked into the body as well. Okay? Out and back. Out and back. Same if I was right here. Drive out and back. Out and back. Okay? Nice and controlled. And hold that extension for just a count. Have control of the movement. You can't hold it out for a count, your weight is too heavy. You must have control with the push and the pull of every single movement. 